We're here now with the head coach of Thorneo High School, Coach Eddie Reyes. Coach, how are you feeling? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, a couple of questions that, that we'd like to ask. You know, uh, Tornillo being a little bit further away than, than, than normal from, from El Paso, you know, we're not really uh, familiar with uh, uh, the style of play and so forth. So, you know, g give us a little bit of a rundown uh, about what you expect for this season. Okay, well, um, all of my girls are coming back. Luckily, I didn't lose any girls last year, so hopefully this year will be different for my girls. I know it's uh, it's tough in the district that we're in. I mean, like you said, we are a little far from El Paso, but we have to travel as far as Crane, Alpine, Kermit, you know. So, yeah, so it's, it's a tougher district, but uh, my girls have managed to, to stay with them, you know. I mean, I, I think... Uh, Presidio was our, our toughest uh, team this year, but uh, uh, the last season, I'm sorry, but this year, hopefully, my girls will be able to play t uh, together. We ended up in third place last season, you know, so hopefully this year we're fighting to go a little bit higher. So, yeah, yeah I expect uh, good things for my girls this, this season, yes. And so in your district, Coach, uh, how many teams actually make the playoffs at, at the end of the season? Four. Is it, it's still yes, four. four. Yes, sir. So, four. so what kind of experience do you bring back uh, from last year's uh, playoff experience? Uh, like I said, I didn't lose any growth, so the, 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 the experience is uh, it's better than last year, you know, right. and, and we showed it off last night. We scrimmaged against uh, Fabens, oh. you know, and when you scrimmage teams that have girls that play club, you know, or right. play year-round, makes a difference. My girls, I mean, they're not exposed to that, you know. Right. Uh, of all my girls, we only have one that plays club, and she's only a sophomore. So, I mean, for us to be able to play against those schools, you know, I mean, it says a lot, you know, like good. my girls, I mean, they, they put on a good show last night in our scrimmage, you know, so I'm, I'm very happy. So the experience, uh, uh, it's better than, than last year, and I know my girls are ready to uh, put in a, a different show this year. Good. good. And, and Coach, talk to me a little bit about, I know being at a small school, sometimes you have to rely on your underclassmen. Uh, talk to me a little bit about those underclassmen having to step up on varsity. Well, I mean, I, it always happens in Torneo, you know, uh, uh, it's been tougher ever since the pandemic, you know, uh, it's hard to get the freshmen to come out, you know, uh, last year we only had three freshmen, so we didn't have a freshman team, so this year, uh, luckily, we have nine, ten freshmen that came out, so uh, it, it, it's good, uh, the girl that I was telling you right now that plays club, she was a freshman last year, and I moved her up to our city because, I mean, uh, the girls knew, I mean, the, the, the way she plays, the way she serves, everything. And uh, it, it, now that the girls are seeing that, you know, the, the, the younger kids, mm -hmm. they, they want to they wanna do it. They, they want to be there, you know. So uh, uh, they know that uh, you don't have to be a junior or a senior to show that you can play. You know, so, like, so freshmen can, can do it too. And, and how, do you, how do you guys feel about uh, district this year? How do you guys feel? Like I said, I mean, we feel good. We feel good. I know... Uh, uh, my girls are ready. Uh, they they, they want to go further this year. They know that uh, last year, I mean, uh, losing the at the playoffs, you know, it, it was a, a tough loss, you know. But uh, I know this year they're ready. Uh, the other districts, uh, I think this year we're going to be more even, like I said, because last year, I mean, there were two teams that had tough team, tough girls, you know. But luckily they were seniors, so <laughs> <laughs> they're gone. So, yeah, like, like I said, all my girls are coming back. So hopefully this year, I mean, it, it'll be different for my girls. Coach, we want to wish you the best of luck this year. And uh, we'll be keeping tabs on Tornillo. Thank Ball you so Ball. much. And I appreciate it. Thank you for the Thank invitation. You.